To AP Theory, this is an explanation of self-test 2-3. We're talking about beat and meter type, and we're specifically dealing with simple meter. Now, it's important that you understand, I'm going to work in the margins over here. When you have a simple duple time signature, the top number is going to be 2. That's always going to happen. So simple duple is going to have a top number of 2. Simple triple is going to have a top number of three. Simple quadruple, the time signature is going to have a top number of four. So we're playing musical Sudoku, and we really have to work our way across the pattern here. So first we're going to find all the meter types and add the time signatures that we have or work backwards. So here we have simple duple. We know that over here our time signature is going to be two something. We'll get to that in a little bit. Simple quadruple, we know the top number is 4 in quadruple, so we're going to mark a 4 at the top of the time signature over here. we got to figure out what the bottom number is, we'll get to that. Simple triple, we know that in simple triple, the top number of the time signature is 3, so we're going to put a 3 here. Okay, now, when you are dealing with simple time signatures, the beat note gives you the bottom number of the time signature. So in this case, we have a quarter note with simple duple. We're going to have a four over here. We're going to see what else we can figure out. Down in number five, we have simple triple. Our beat note is a sixteenth note. That means the bottom number of the time signature will be a sixteenth note. So again, the beat note tells us what the bottom number of the time signature is. So let's work in reverse. Can we find a beat note over here in the time signature. On number two, we have three eight. That means that an eighth note will be our beat note in this exercise. We can also work backwards from the top number. This top number is a three, and going back over here, the top number being a three means that we are in simple triple time. Simple triple. Okay? Now finally, we're gonna deal with the division of the beat. If we have a beat note of two, I'm sorry, I have a quarter note here, we know we're in simple duple, so we have a two, four time signature. The division of each of these will be half of the value. So two eighth notes would be the division of a beat dealing with quarter notes, okay? We have an eighth note here. Half of an eighth note is gonna be two sixteenth notes, so that will be the division of our beat. Working backwards here, we have two quarter notes, so that's the division of the beat. That means that our beat note is a half note. From here, we can surmise our beat note is a half note, so this time signature is going to be two two. The top number is two. In simple duple time, the top number of the time signature is always two, so